when we look at mental toughness, it's not really uh, the brain. It covers your body, your mind, and your spirit. Some people think, well, let me think about being tougher. Let me think about getting over. That's not what we're talking about here. It's that, that internal fortitude. It's that drive. It's that will. It's everything united. It's that core, that internal drive that, that keeps on going forward, you know, overcoming challenges. All right, nice and early here at HQ, Man of War HQ. So I'm gonna be answering some very important DMs and emails over the next little bit here. And more importantly, I'm gonna bring you into the house. I'm going to share with you some very exciting things that I have on tap, guys. Stay tuned. Listen, we've switched over now to this new microphone. It is badass, okay? We used to have this little Zoom. It did a great job for five years, but guess what? Instamic right here, the sound is incredible. Instamic.io, I believe is their website. Go check them out. All right, so check this out. This is the Man of War podcast right here. This is not where it all started. It started literally on a desk right next to my bed. But we have stepped it up here over the last probably year and a half or so that we've been here now. Um, we've had some incredible people sit on that chair, and we've had some great recordings from here. The Man of War podcast right now is closing in on 4 million downloads, and we've been, what, just over three and a half years so I want to say first and foremost, thank you for your incredible support. Uh, we have a great, I mean, great shows coming up here. We have a pipeline right here of some great guests. I'm not going to reveal them just yet, but there's going to be some good stuff. I've gotten some emails regarding, you know, what this is here. This crest is 300 years, over 300 years old, okay? A family had it in their lineage for 200 years out of Toledo, Spain. You can see the outlays here. This was literally gold outlays, man. I've had this, oh man, I've had this now for about a year or so. And when I purchased it, I felt like, man, I had just struck gold. Good stuff. We'll talk about it in another vlog, the story behind that. All right, so one of the other things that I wanna to talk to you about is our merchandise, our apparel line. Listen, I get emails and DMs across the board for t-shirts. I mean, we sell out every time we get batches of t-shirts and hats, and I appreciate your support again. Now, listen to me very clearly. Your favorite hat? Okay, we're doing it again, okay? Black on red. This was the most popular Man of War hat that we've had over the last couple of years, okay? So we're gonna be uh, building up our apparel line, and certainly what I wanna make sure is that I get your input of things that you wanna have. This T-shirt's also brand new. You can see here on the back, you know, Man of War from the Bible. And also we have a whole bunch of different colors coming up. All right, let's go take a look at our training area where our new program, the Virtual Warrior Development Program, is gonna be filmed. Kaizen! This right here, my brothers, Kaizen is the reason why I'm able to do what I do, why I'm able to work 16, 18 hour days and still be successful across all facets of my life. In the warrior life, when you're living a warrior lifestyle, my brother, Kaizen becomes a priority. Constant improvement, hacking away the unessentials, the negativity, the things that drag you down. We don't want those in our lives. We wanna be able to then never stop. Forge forward, no matter where you are in your life, keep on moving forward. You gotta create your own rituals, what gets you going, uniquely your own. You know, Bruce Lee's you know, famous quote was, you know, hack away the unessentials, absorb what is useful to you, right? And then of course, create what is uniquely your own. So important. So let's talk about what I do every single day and how I stay honed and how I stay in this warrior's path. 
Very simple, okay? When I'm on duty as a full-time police officer in the front lines, I wake up at 3.30 in the morning, all right? No matter what, I still have my rituals. I do my breathing exercises, and then basically I clear my mind for a couple of minutes. And I do this by just basic Qigong exercises, different Martial arts out there have different types of breathing. I take on a lot of the, what the Qigong, the Chinese uh, martial art of Qigong has taught me, and I take that and implement it into my morning routine. Then I get dressed up, ready to roll, my mind is focused, I'm ready to go at work. Now, when I come home and I return, all right, I gotta shift hats because I gotta run this man of war, this organization. So I've done a 12 hour shift, okay? If you add the drive time, you're looking at a 13 hour day. Now, my focus is when I shift hats, okay, is to run my organization here. It may be focus on the marketing, developing new products, interviewing men for the men of war crucible, talking to my cadre, to my employees, uh, running, you know, financials for the organization, you know, planning future events, a million things happen, right? And I gotta be, as a leader, I have to be on top of that. So I take usually two to three hours. Once that's over, and it's usually somewhere at around eight or nine o'clock at night, all right, at that point, I decompress, right? I stop, I freeze myself, and I say, it is my family time now. I go home, I eat with my kids, I tuck my daughter and my son in bed, I pray with them. It's a very specific ritual that I have. I make sure that I am there, all right? So there's a lot of things in my plate, all right? And how I do this is very simple. Structure, have your rituals. Stay strong in what you're doing and your belief. This is my passion, my core, my calling. If you don't have that purpose within you, guess what, my brother? You're gonna be basically walking around like a zombie like most people, all right? So Kaizen, constant improvement, hack away the unessentials, get rid of the negativity around you, forge forward and never quit. So important, my brother, because that is part of this beautiful concept, philosophy of Kaizen. All right, guys, so here I am approaching three quarters of my day completed. Typically what I like to do is look at my tasks for the day, make sure that I completed those, and then start looking for tomorrow, right? Start kind of getting that strategic game plan ready for tomorrow. Now, when I get home, first thing that I do is spend time with my family, all right? I eat dinner with them on the table, very important for me. The next step from that is spend time with my kids. You know, see how their day went, went in school, just kind of talk to them, have some time with them, interaction, put the kids to bed, pray with them, and of course, spend some time with my wife before I go to bed, which is usually, I wanna say around 10.30, uh, quarter to 11. Now, the key thing here is when I go to bed, I just don't put my head on the pillow and go to sleep. I take about 30 minutes, I now open my book, and that's my favorite time, I wanna tell you this, okay? My favorite time of the evening is when I lay in bed, sit up just a little bit and open my book and start reading. And I make sure that I get about 30 to 35 minutes of good solid reading every single night. Just so you know, a quick fact, I've been doing this since I was 13 years old. I have never, ever missed one day of reading in the evening. So what I'm gonna do here is, during some of these vlogs, I'm gonna answer some emails and some DMs that I've received, especially important ones that I feel that you're gonna get something out of, all right? First one here is this. I wanna change my life, but every time I try, everything around me starts falling apart. What can I do? Well, first of all, you gotta set up a goal. You gotta figure out how you're gonna start changing your life, whether it be to increase your discipline, whether it be to maybe start changing the way that you treat someone, maybe treating yourself, increasing your self-respect, increasing your self-confidence. So that's a very general question. But whatever you decide, you gotta start with a commitment, a commitment to doing something different, a commitment of doing something outside of the box that you have been in. Once you make that commitment, you'll be able to structure your life going forward. All right, next one. I feel I am weak when I'm around other men who are at a higher level than myself. How can I increase my confidence? All right, so there's a deal. I'm a big believer that you must surround yourself with people that are at a higher level than you. That's the bottom line. Listen, for you to start surrounding yourself with people that are at a lower level than you, you're never going to strive for much 
Once you have people around you that make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, you're going to want to rise up, right? That confidence. And sometimes you got to let that ego in a little bit, right? You got to increase that knowledge, increase that skill set, and maybe that'll spunk you up a little bit to give you that internal drive to start walking and start striving to where these men are. So this is what I say. Don't worry too much about how you're feeling. Just start trying to climb that ladder and achieve a level where you can basically rub shoulders with them and look eye to eye. That's the way to start getting better every single day. All right, how do I face fear? Head on, boom, just like that, head on. And what I mean by that is look, if you're gonna try to pansy around it, if you're gonna try to take little steps every single day, look, that's one way to do it. I'm a big believer that you are in fear's face. You just push yourself. You get your inform internal fortitude. You literally bring it in and you step forward and you crush it. Believe me, most of the time fear, once you've dealt with it head on, you realize that, why was I even fearing this? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't even nearly as bad as what I expected. So have the balls have the internal fortitude, have the mindset and the will to push through something that you feel uncomfortable. Get over that fear. Once you do it one time, you'll be able to do it more often. All right, my brothers, this is what the vlog is gonna be all about, right? Is getting you stronger every single day, getting better. Kaizen Vlog is going to teach you and give you certain strategies, concepts, philosophies, and theories that you can implement into your life and start getting better across all fronts. That's what I'm looking to do here. Make no mistake about it. All right, guys, so we're done with the questionnaire here. Let us know in your comments if you like it. Remember, we're constantly changing, constantly improving, but we need your feedback. Also, run over to iTunes or to Spotify. Look for Man of War Podcast. It is a phenomenal podcast. We're approaching 4 million downloads. We have about 138, 139 episodes. We have one episode coming out every single week. Be on the lookout for that. Now, very special, a very special thing that I have for you. A masterclass for warriors, okay? This is going to be the Warrior Development Program. We're gonna be releasing that here in the summer. Be on the lookout. Some incredible things happening here at the Man of War. And of course, if you are ready to commit yourself and make a change in your life and start stepping up to enter into the Men of War Society, check out the Men of War Crucible. That's menofwarcrucible.com. I promise you, you'll be a different man by the time you walk out of that crucible. Now listen, do me a favor. I want you to support this vlog because the what I'm bringing you to the table is so important. I believe that now in our society more than ever, warrior-minded men are missing. And I wanna be able to disseminate this message across all social media platforms, including this new vlog. So do me a favor, subscribe, whether it's up there or down here, I'm not sure. But the reality is that when that little bell rings, you know that some good information is headed your way. All right, guys, remember to implement Kaizen into your life. It'll change you. Constant improvement is what your entire life should be all about. Hacking away the unessentials. Get rid of that negativity. Of course, never stop. Go forward and never, ever look back. Improve daily. You are better today than you were yesterday, and you're going to be better tomorrow than you are today. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Listen, I am here spilling my heart out, giving you the best information that I can on living that warrior life, all right? That's why this vlog is titled Kaizen, Kaizen Vlog, constantly getting better, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Owadi.